Deputies are working to get a Harrison Township woman to surrender after she's held them at bay for more than six hours. Good evening. I'm Holly Samuels. Anthony Kiko has been on the scene in the 4300 block of Riverside Drive all night. He's live with the latest. Anthony. Holly, we believe law enforcement officers will have 43-year-old Wanda Turner in custody soon if they don't already. She actually was held up in this apartment building that's behind this gas station behind me. Now, we were moved way over here for safety reasons, but earlier we were close enough to see her waving a gun outside of her window. A gunshot echoes throughout the 4300 block of Riverside Drive as authorities try to convince a woman to surrender. Law enforcement officers say they believe she's mentally ill. The standoff started about 4.30. That's when law enforcement officers went to check on her after someone called 911. She's standing there with a handgun and she told them, you guys get out of here, I'm going to kill you all, then I'll kill myself. Authorities say they eventually fired one shot at the woman, but the shot missed. Turner's longtime boyfriend says he took her to the hospital Saturday night after she complained about back pain. They gave her three shots of morphine. She had one back problems with her kidneys or something back then. And uh, I brought her home. When I brought her home, she was, she was weak. And Kyle's believes that weakness and her history of mental illness is what caused her to snap. I feel real bad. I do. Now, we do know that tear gas has been shot into the apartment building, and we're starting to see a lot of activity back there. But again, we're not sure if they actually have her in custody yet or if they're still trying to get her to give up. But we're going to stay out here and continue to follow this story and have more for you on WDTN.com. Reporting live, Anthony Kiko, 2 News on your side.